Hello and welcome to another video for Linux Linux. So this is just a short video uh, to help people make the transition from Frosh, Frosh uh, 0.17, which works looks like this, right? You tap here and then you start an app and you tap here to get back to the app drawer. I don't know why it's so slow right now. Yeah. So this is the Frosh you know and love, right? Um, it works by the tabs. The only gestures that you're having are the lock screen. And now this here is the the upcoming Fosh. Uh, it's 0 0.20 beta 1. And oh, there are some changes here regarding the icons, which are slightly different on the Liberum 5 anyway. But now you can swipe. Right, you can swipe down here to, um, to have these quick toggles to lock the screen, to uh, turn the device off and such. You can even do that from the lock screen. Can't turn it off from here, but at the side you can briefly turn it to silent when you're in an environment where that's advantageous or um, do stuff like uh, turn the rotation lock on or off or activate the torch if you're so inclined. So now let's log back in and demo the changes to multitasking. So let's pick some apps that are going to start quickly like text editor or I don't know, maybe image roll. without an image and then you see uh, now you can swipe up here and then if you want to close that up it's another swipe and it's gone yeah i think that's a welcome change and uh, there's obviously more coming going forward but just so you know uh it's swipey now right like this um one of the advantages of this that I noticed is that when you're typing frantically and you're hitting this bar, uh, you're no longer uh, activating what happens when you swipe up here now. So that's definitely a welcome change. Other than that, well, it's swiping now. There's now an indicator for um, this ringer status in the bar so that you always know what you've chosen there. And these are helpful changes. And I really look forward to Fosh 0.20 landing soon. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.